Hi everyone, in this lesson we'll be looking at the Egyptian influence in art, architecture and religion in ancient Pompeii. Pompeii was influenced by other civilizations. There was a lot of Greek influence, but there was also Egyptian influence in the city. The evidence of Egyptian influence mostly comes from Pompeii. The temple of Isis was in Pompeii, and Isis, of, of course, was an Egyptian female goddess. This is a picture of the temple of Isis. These are the ruins that are still in Pompeii today. Isis was an Egyptian goddess and Egypt was taken over by Rome around 30 BC. So you might ask the question, why would Egypt be influential over Pompeii? Well, one of the possible reasons is that the Egyptian Empire or Egypt was taken over by the Roman Empire around 30 BC with the death of Cleopatra. Uh, Octavian, who later became known as Augustus, took over Egypt. And so Egypt was incorporated into the Roman Empire. Rome also traded with Egypt before that. So even before that, you know, they were a well-known civilization. They were trading with them and so on. Scenes of the Nile and Egyptian landscapes were the subject of paintings and landscapes. There is a mosaic of a Nile scene in the House of the Fawn. A mosaic is not like a painting. A painting is where you have a brush and you paint something. A mosaic is where you get like coloured stones and you put them all together and when you put them all together it makes a picture. But there's a mosaic of a Nile scene in the House of the Fawn, which is one of the most famous houses and one of the biggest houses in Pompeii. Egyptian influence can also be seen in architecture. The water feature in the Praedia of Julia Felix or the House of Julia Felix represents a delta branch of the Nile. In art, there is the Nile scene in the House of the Fawn representing crocodiles, hippopotamus and ibis. Wall paintings with Egyptian motifs. The Temple of Isis has Egyptian style landscapes and scenes from Egyptian mythology. Religion. The cult of Isis, the Egyptian goddess, was represented in statues, paintings, and household shrines. So you have this main temple dedicated to Isis, but there's other evidence of the worship of Isis. There's the statues, the paintings, and household shrines. The temple of Isis was the center of this cult and worship. Egyptian gods are depicted on shrines the household shrine to Isis in the House of the Golden Cupids features Egyptian gods such as Anubis, Harpocrates, Isis and Serapis. In this picture we can see one of the Egyptian gods. This is Anubis and what they tended to do in Egypt is they mixed the gods or they the gods were like a mixture of human and animal. So you can see you've got the head of an animal and the body of a human. And that's the way a lot of the gods, the Egyptian gods were. But Isis was different. Isis was just a female. She didn't have the head of an animal. And you can see him, he's holding the ank there. That's like a symbol of eternal life or symbol of life. The cult of Isis and Serapis were popular because they offered the possibility of an afterlife. So... In Egyptian religion, they believed in an afterlife and, you know, you'd be judged and then you'd have a new life, which, which would be similar to this one, but better. And so naturally, the idea of worshipping Isis and having a nice afterlife, naturally that appealed to a lot of people in Rome. And that's probably one of the reasons why she became popular. But there's no doubt there was a bit of Egyptian influence in Pompeii, in particular with religion.